because it's sort of like ridiculous in a really amazingly wonderful way. It's a bright Barbie pink with like a metallic sheen and glitter and just a lot of fun things happening. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a fun little lip swatch party for y'all today. I have got a bunch of new lip products from Sephora and Ulta that I wanna show y'all. So I'm just gonna try to quickly run through these and show you swatches on my lips, show you swatches on my hand and just do a little lip swatch party. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off, I've got a couple of these Tarte The Lip Sculpture Lipstick and Lip Gloss. This first one is in Basic. Just a really beautiful nude kind of combo kind of right in between a peach and a pink, um, the lipstick is. The gloss is kind of more on the warm side. Really beautiful. They're both gorgeous by themselves, but really pretty layered together. Really, really like them. I have a Chester hair somewhere on me. He always has to make his presence known, even if he's not in here with us. And next I have Voltage. This is a really nice kind of like peachy coral kind of a duo. I really do like this one a lot. This one, um, the lipstick has a quite a bit more, I feel like it has more pink in it, whereas the gloss has a little bit more red, but they're both beautiful and layered together. I think they're just a really pretty, like sweet, fresh look on the lips. And then this product, I always forget the name of this. This is from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue. And I have a little small size from a duo that I got. And this is in the color Nude, really cute packaging. And it's just a really like sheer, glossy, nude kind of color. Feels really nice on the lips. It does feel minty, so it feels a little bit cooling, um, but really nice and hydrating. Like I should have saved this for the end when my lips are probably really jacked up after all these lip swatches. I have a couple of these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipsticks. This one's a little baby one from that duo. This is in Cabana Boy and it is just a really beautiful, like cool toned, mauve sort of a shade. It's really beautiful. These feel really comfortable on the lips. You probably saw when I was doing the lip swatch that I'm just really delicate with these. Very careful about not um, turning them up in the bullet too much, like keeping them really low because they break really easily. So they're just super soft, but they're very delicate, so you have to be really careful with them. This one is such a beautiful, vibrant color. This is in Surfer Girl, and it's right here. It is just a gorgeous, like bright pink fuchsia shade. It is really, really fun. I love this color. It just brightens up your face and it just looks happy. It's just a happy color and I love it. And then I have a couple of the new shades of the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. I didn't have these when I filmed my Sephora and Ulta new products review video. So I wanted to include them in this video so you could see them. So this one, hello, this is in Clueless. And I bought this to wear with other things, but I mean, I secretly kind of like it by itself too because it's sort of like ridiculous in a really amazingly wonderful way. It is like a metallic pink color and it's got like little like, it's like a lavender pink, but it's got some little like micro shimmer in it. It's a Barbie color and I love it. I, I love Barbie, so I love Barbie colors and this is a Barbie color. This is another Barbie color and I absolutely love it. This is Mean Girls. I love the names on these two. So stinking adorable. This is like a bright fuchsia, but it's kind of metallic. It's got some micro shimmer in it. I mean, it's a bright Barbie pink with like a metallic sheen and glitter and just a lot of fun things happening but I absolutely love it just because it's so fun and girly and cute. And I've got some of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. So the first one is Sugar Cane. This is a really gorgeous kind of pinky nude color, but it's very light. It's really beautiful. I really love this color. I typically wear it with a lip liner. Um, I love the formula on these. They are absolutely incredible love them then i have Saki, which is a really pretty kind of like mauvey pink color it's got quite a bit of purple in it it's really really pretty it's kind of like i don't know it's a neutral but it has a little bit of drama in it like especially on me because it kind of pulls a little bit more 
purpley. It just looks, I don't know, like a slightly edgy, mauve sort of a color. You know what I mean? I think because it has a little bit of like grayish purple tones in it, but I really like it. Next I've got Molasses, which is a brown color, but I love it. It's a really, really beautiful brown color. I've included this in a Friday Favorites already because it's just gorgeous. It's a really beautiful, like, very chocolatey brown, but I feel like it's got quite a bit of warmth in it. Really gorgeous. These have a really nice kind of citrusy scent to them and also a citrusy taste, like lemon cookies or something. I am obsessed with these lipsticks. And I have a little baby point perk of this one. This one is called Radish and it is a really nice, like bright, I don't know, fuchsia berry sort of color. It's right in between a fuchsia and a berry. I love it, gorgeous color. I could take every color in these lipsticks. I'm not even gonna lie, I love them that much. And I've got three different colors of the Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipsticks to show you. This first color is in Wondrous and it's a really pretty mid-tone pink color. I like this one a lot because it's a very neutral pink but it's still like a fun pink, you know what I mean? Like I think you could wear this to most like office settings and things like that, but still feel like fun and girly and sweet because it is that fun, sweet, girly color, but not super duper bright. Next we have Moonlighter. This is a really fun like retro red. I would describe it as a fun red because it's bright and kind of mid-tone, but it has a little bit of like pinky color in it a little bit of orangey color in it. So, I don't know, it's just a bright, fun red. I really do like this one, and it just really brightens up your face a lot. This one's really a gorgeous color. This is Lover, and this is sort of like a rosy kind of color, like a rosy berry. I feel like it's slightly unique. I say slightly unique because I'm sure that this color has been made many times before by other companies, but I just don't feel like I've seen it as much because it's just a beautiful rosy color. I really do love this one. It's gorgeous. It's kind of got a little bit of pink, a little bit of red. It's a rose. Then I've got one of the Too Faced La Matte Color Drenched Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade The New Black and it is a fun bright orange. I really do enjoy the color of this. As far as formula, I think it's just okay. Um, I think it's a little bit, I don't know, strange. A little bit drying. Um, just not my favorite formula, but it is a really fun, bright orange. If you're looking for a fun, bright orange, this will get you there. And lastly, I have a couple of shades of the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipsticks. This first one is in Queen Bee. I love the packaging too. So Queen Bee, I have seen this on several different people and it seems to look different on everyone. On me, it looks very purpley, gray, pink, mauve kind of a color, but it's very gray and purpley looking on me. Whereas I've seen it on other people and it looks very kind of neutral pink. So I think it kind of depends on your coloring and what it's gonna look like on you, but it is a really beautiful color. And then lastly, I have Bend and Snap. Love the name on this one. This one is kind of like a dark berry wine color. I was really thinking this was gonna be more kind of like pinky berry, but it really is quite a bit darker. It's really more of that kind of burgundy sort of a shade, but it is really beautiful. It takes a little bit to build it up, but it builds on itself nicely and then you have that opaque coverage. So it's really, really a pretty statement lip color. All right guys, so that wraps up this wild and crazy and really long lip swatch party. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what your favorite shades are that I showed you or if you have other shades that I did not show you that I need to go check out. Let me know that as well. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.